Hello, we're going to go ahead and try to show the uh, install process for uh, Windows 2000 64 bit build on a DEC Alpha. This emulator, however, cannot run um, Windows, but it can run the uh, firmware, so we can at least take a look at what to do. So, by default, you need to set up your hard drive. I'm pretty sure you need Alpha BIOS. If you don't have Alpha BIOS, I'm pretty sure you're kind of out of luck. Um, there is the Arkins on the CD-ROM, but I don't think it's going to help any. So anyway, so we go into here. We have no partitions, so we're going to continue. And Express, we'll go ahead and just lay down the partition for the system and one for the uh, operating system. Fantastic. So there we go, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and format the system partition. Standard. Oh, I already did format it. Well, how about that? So anyway, so I'm going to exit here. Now, normally you would go ahead and just do install Windows NT, but the 64-bit one lives in a different directory. So we're on a maintenance program, exp 64 set up LDR, it's on the CD-ROM, and then that should do it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this thing do the default choices, because again, it's not going to work. All right, now you will get this on physical hardware too, that it's detected that the disks are indistinguishable. You need to press any key to continue. Um, on the emulator, the reboot doesn't work, so it's stuck. So I need to uh, restart the emulator. Uh, reset. And again, this doesn't happen on um, real hardware, it will just uh, reboot it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't know if this emulator can even reset. So if not, I guess I gotta kill it and try again. So, go back here. Alright, we'll call that a reset. Um, so, I, I dropped the memory to 64 megabytes, so this will hopefully not take as long. On a normal alpha, you can go ahead and set the mode so it doesn't have to do this all the time. Uh, we're not in not lucky. So we're just going to go ahead and load the ARC firmware. On a real alpha, this is pretty much instant. This emulator, not so much. Alright. Back in Arc. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure we go into setup. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up end the end up in setup anyways. Uh, so this is kind of a history of the uh, restoration. What's original, what's not. Again, the Arc Inst has been moved there from a previous build, but it just lets you. Uh, Set up partitions, and we don't need any of that because Alpha Bias will do that. So let's go to utilities. Let's run another program again. So that was AXP64. Set up LDR from CD. And then same thing. We're just going to go ahead and let it do its default. And that's where it's going to crash for me. Now, if you're on a real alpha, the NT kernel will load, and then it will prompt you for, you know, questions about your system, what disk partition you want to use, and away from there you get your install. But, uh, unfortunately, the loading of the actual kernel doesn't work on emulation, so that is literally as far as we can go. So, hopefully that helps someone for, uh, you know, I guess installing this. Um... Yeah, it doesn't work on our emulation, so don't bother asking. The community at large that's interested in emulation only cares about VMS, so the likelihood of us getting Windows NT working is around zero. Anyways, that's all I got. Later.